Hey everybody, Charlie here, and thanks for assembling on us. And this episode is about the assault rifle sling and its use, so don't think you're on some sort of super cool music video site. Um, but before we get into the rifle sling, I wanted to send a big shout out to my man, Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top. He was selected as uh, the Rolling Stones 32nd best guitar player of all time. Um, which is pretty cool if you think about all of the guitarists that there have been, the electric guitarist. Um, so big kudos to Billy and his little old band from Texas. And if you want to learn about leadership and teamwork in a crisis situation, I think you could do a lot worse than look at ZZ Top. They've been rocking the same members of the same band for four decades and seem to be getting along and jamming and having a good time. So kudos to them. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about slings in general. The guitar sling, for instance, is used to support the weight of the guitar so that the guitarist's hands are free to move around on the guitar. Okay, so that's how a sling on a guitar works. We're going to look at a sling on an assault rifle in just a minute, but while I go change into my gear, we're going to send it out to Yoda, who's going to go outside and prep for a night op and talk a little bit about the use of his sling. So we'll be back in just a second. Count to again. Yes. <laughs> Far out, Yoda. And you're right. The sling does have a lot of different uses on an assault rifle. And we're going to talk about some of them on the show today. First of all, you can see that uh, I've kind of improvised a sling together here. Um, I found this at a surplus store or something like that. It wasn't made to fit this rifle, but with a little use of some 550 cord gutted and some 100 mile an hour tape, I was able to improvise a pretty good sling for it. I've used it for three years and a lot of hard training. I've never had a problem with it. The rifle itself, even though it's an excellent weapon, it's one of my favorites that I shoot with. It only costs $79, so I'm not going to put a $79 sling on my $79 rifle. So the sling, I think total I have like $3 into it, but it works good. So kind of a improvised sling, I just loop it around my neck. And the idea is if I'm standing out on patrol all day, um, whatever the case may be, and I'm not actively engaged in scanning for threats, I'm in a condition yellow, sort of relaxed mindset. I've got it supported around my neck like this. Um, with this kind of unusual stock here, a lot of times I'll just put the thumb right in there and let it rest. And then if something catches my eye and I'm now going into a shooting situation, I can just reach down with the support hand bring that up and it's right there in place. Also if I'm engaged in the fight and I run dry, I run out of ammunition or I have a malfunction and I don't want to take the time to correct either one of those problems, I can bring the weapon down controlling it down so I don't smash myself. I'll transition to my secondary weapon, engage until time and opportunity in the gunfight would allow me then to come back to my primary weapon system. I can reload, I can clear that malfunction, whatever the case may be. And so that would be a use of the sling to support that weapon while I did that. And then another option with the, the sling is let's imagine that, okay, we've suppressed the enemy. Now we have wounded to deal with. If I'm tasked as a, a an aid bearer or to, I'm trying to help a casualty and I leave this sort of slung around my neck the muzzles pointing straight down so as I bend over to take care of this casualty or do whatever whatever I'm basically muzzling them maybe in my excitement I forgot to put it on safe and bang he had a leg wound and now he has a no head that would be bad so what I can do is if I'm tasked to do that I can just rotate the weapon onto my back, it frees up my hands. If I need to bend over, aid the casualty or whatever, I'm not muzzling them. Whatever else task I was needing to do that I need both hands for, I finished my task. I can just rotate this back around and I'm right back into the fight. 
and if for some reason I had to engage immediately I still have my secondary weapon I could drive in and use that if I didn't have time to get that rifle back around um, and as always before I um, did anything with this rifle I visually and physically inspected it twice to make sure that it was clear and then Yoda buddy checked it for me and verified that it was clear so we don't have any accidents in our training area so that's going to do it for um, basics of rifle sling on an assault rifle. So I hope you learned something. And again, big shout out to uh, ZZ Top. They have a new album coming out in a few days. If you're a fan, you might want to check that out. It's going to be very cool. So uh, me and Yoda, we're wishing you good training. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. We are out of here.